check out this rain today. This is why I like to play indoor sports. Although it is kind of peaceful when you're surrounded by all these, I think they're eucalyptus trees and some rain. We got our first volleyball fan today, Mr. Daddy Longleg. What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. I am back at the Mountain View Volleyball Club facility for the third Elevate Volleyball League tournament for the men's division. And today is gonna to be one of those extra busy days. Not only will I need to be running and playing in the volleyball tournament, I have to leave for a few hours from 10 to one for an important family event, which I'll tell you guys about later. But for now, we gotta get the gym set up. Usually I come early to set the nets up, but looks like they already been set up from probably their club practice last night. We got our first person here today, Camilo. <laughs> today I'll be trying out the hardened twos that I just got. We'll see how they feel today. Here are the pools for today. And we actually get to play first, which is the first time this year, which is nice. We'll get a long break, and this is where I'll be gone. Just finished our first match against uh, Inwards Hours Evers team and we actually played pretty well. That's the first time we actually took a set off of them. We came really close before so many times and we were finally able to squeeze out a set. Uh, we had a chance to finish the second one but they just had a great serving run that we couldn't recover from. But it's a good start today and now I gotta get ready to go to the family event that I told you guys about. All right, now I have time to tell you guys about the family event. So in Chinese culture, after a baby is born, and I think after about 100 days, if you're Chinese, you can correct me on that number, but we have a red egg party to celebrate the birth of a new family member. And we get together and eat as a family. So you'll be seeing some footage of my new niece later since my sister just had a kid. The only challenge is that we'll be eating at a Chinese and sushi buffet so the trick is not to stuff myself like I usually do because I still got to play the rest of the day. And by the time I come back, it'll be playoffs. 
a guy named Albert Hines will be subbing for me and playing two games for the tall ones while I'm gone. And you'll recognize him from the open gym volleyball game. So he's a really good player from Puerto Rico. Now I gotta drive all the way back home, get changed in time for the red egg party. We're now at Tomi Sushi Buffet, which is a Japanese and Chinese buffet in Union City for Evie. This is my niece here. Happy red egg. Hi. You look so pretty today. You're gonna outgrow these in probably five days. Yeah. The strategy to eating buffets is first, you gotta see what's available and don't rush. Sample everything first. The funny thing about this buffet is that even though they're a sushi buffet technically, but the Chinese food is actually really good. It's actually better than the Japanese food. So I know I said I was going to eat light today to play later, but it's really hard to resist. What I got so far, I got a mix of sushi. Yeah. That's my dad. That's where I get my good looks from. Three plates. Hopefully I can just keep it to this. So I'm about to get their olam one ton meat, which is like an egg noodle. Beef tendon and one ton is really good here. Even though this is a buffet, they do a really good job. I definitely ate more than I should for a tournament day, but I just finished taking a dump, so hopefully that counteracted some of it. And I have about an hour before I start the game, so hopefully that'll give me some time to digest. Just came in here from lunch, now I gotta get warmed up. Running low on time because we had two matches that went to three in the playoffs, which means that man, competition is getting tight. So the guys have been really nice because we still got to play our match after the finals, which is happening right now. And they offered to play one set to 30 uh, so that we can still play ours. And we're going to do one set to 32 because we only have the gym until five o'clock. So really nice guys. So thank you. 
Edwards and Ball Please for accommodating for us. So now you guys are gonna watch the finals. Say something? Last chance, because I gotta start recording. <laughs> oh man, I don't like that. We can't see you can't see yourself. Yep. Right now we are at Olive Gordon after the tournament with my wife, my beautiful wife. Cheers. Mm. A quick recap. Uh, First two games, I felt like I played pretty well, but that last game was bad, man. I sucked. I got blocked probably three times in a row. So I got a long way to go before I can be ready for USA Nationals. So this concludes our long volleyball day. We get some Italian food to stuff ourselves with some yummy carbs. And I gotta say, the Olive Garden salad is pretty good. Anything else you wanna say? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Volleyball Life.